Let's check in with first other meteorologist Paul Hay. At least we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff here. Uh, no, yeah. earthquakes are enough. We don't need to worry about the, and fires and yeah. mm -hmm. all the other things. But yes, the other consequence. There's of no the volcanoes. Earth. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to go to the Pacific Northwest for that. Let's take a look at what has been happening. It's been another weird October day. We're just kind of stuck in this pattern where our temperatures are more reminiscent of June rather than October. That means warm temperatures inland, a good five or six degrees above average, close to 90 in Livermore, and cool by the water, only 62 degrees in San Francisco. It's almost 10 degrees below normal, and it only got up to the mid-50s in Pacifica. And you can see the view from the Mark Hopkins Hotel. The fog is already rolling in to downtown San Francisco. Let's take a look at the current temperatures, which inland in the East Bay are warm, even hot, almost 90 degrees in Fairfield. Other inland parts of the Bay Area, 70s in San Jose, 70s for most of the North Bay, but 50s and 60s around the Bay, only 58 downtown, and it's still only 55 degrees at Half Moon Bay. This kind of 35 degree almost temperature swing from the coast to farther inland is much more typical of early summer. October, there's only supposed to be about a 10 to 15 degree difference between locations near the water and farther inland. We're not going to be in that kind of pattern anytime soon. Looking at visibility for tomorrow morning, well, it's going to be reduced. That fog is going to push into the inland valleys to begin Tuesday. Should back up out of the East Bay Valleys already by 9, 10 o'clock at the latest. Still hanging on to some of the North Bay Valleys, though, by late morning. Visibility is there. Should improve as we head towards lunchtime. And even downtown San Francisco breaks through to sunshine as we head towards lunchtime as well. But that fog is still going to be hanging out right along the coast and around the Golden Gate. Temperatures tonight, low to mid 50s. That part of the forecast, at least, is normal for October, even some upper 40s in the North Bay Valleys. But highs tomorrow, still five or six degrees below normal around the bay, still five or six degrees above normal farther inland. Let's zoom in for a closer look. You might make the low 60s right along the coast. That'd be warmer than today, but it's still below average. Mid to upper 70s, to around 80 degrees down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay with low to mid 80s inland in the Santa Clara Valley. That high of 81 in San Jose, about four degrees above normal. Temperatures mostly in the middle portion of the 80s inland in the East Bay with some of the hottest spots reaching up into the upper 80s, and that's going to be a similar trend Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to stay in the same pattern through the rest of the work week. Mid 60s in San Francisco, only upper 60s for Oakland and the East Bay. Not a whole lot warmer on that side of the bay with a mix of upper 70s and low 80s as you go farther inland of the North Bay until you go much farther inland where temperatures are still going to reach up to around 90 degrees in Ukiah and St. Helena. Once we return to near average temperatures Saturday and Sunday, even inland, well, it's not going to last very long. The 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center and the 8 to 14 day outlook from the same agency both show a significant chance of above normal temperatures carrying us right on into the last full week of October. So when our temperatures do drop Saturday and Sunday, enjoy that kind of pattern while it lasts because it's likely temporary. No big changes around the bay over the next several days. I think Friday and Saturday will actually be the warmest days for San Francisco and Oakland, while Saturday and Sunday will be the coolest days inland, retreating back down to near average for at least a few days before we warm back up again, likely by the middle of next week. All right, thanks, Paul.